Welcome back. Uh, my name is Robin Johnston and this is Obsessed with Tech and you're watching episode number nine. On today's episode we talk about uh, uh, another podcaster actually that I really respect, uh, someone by the name of Chris Perillo. We also talk about a way of uh, organizing uh, your, your browsing on the internet. So stick with us. Obsessed with Tech number nine is coming at you. This is Obsessed with Tech with Robin Johnston, where we take a look at the latest hardware and software. We also find the coolest gadgets and the neatest websites and the latest, greatest podcasts. And now, here's Robin. Uh, some of you may have, uh, in previous episodes, if you've been following along, may have heard me mention uh, Chris Perillo before. Um, I watch Chris Perillo's uh, show quite a bit, Chris Perillo Live. It's at chris.perillo.com. You can find it there. And the basic idea is Chris uh, use streams all day. And uh, at certain points during the day, usually in the, in the early evening, depending on which time zone you're in, he'll record five shows five segments that he posts up to uh, to various spots like YouTube and they're all in one subject so just five quick little live live recordings on a particular topic and the really neat thing about Chris's uh, show is the fact that he has chat sort of up on the bottom there and in order to get the the most out of the experience of going to Chris log into the chat and you can correspond with it and Chris does, does a really good job with this. In fact, if ever this particular show is late, uh, you can probably blame it on Perillo because um, he's got, in my opinion, some of the most compelling content available out there on the Internet. It's always spontaneous. Um, it's very intelligent, uh, humorous. He actually has a unique way of not only during act, interacting with his audience during a live sort of recording, but also he has the ability to, to sort of harness the collective intelligence of his chat group and sort of incorporate that into, into the help. And he's also added another layer now as well to it. He's, a, he's also started doing uh, phone-ins. He has a number where you can call in and, uh, and talk to him as well. So I, if you haven't done so, I would highly recommend you go and check out uh, Chris Perillo. Um, he's, he's literally everywhere. Um, I just uh, actually, in fact, heard him on Twit. Uh, good job, by the way. They should keep you on there as a regular, I think. Uh, he was just on Twit this week. Uh, and um, he, Chris does an amazing job, so do go and check out Chris. Uh, while we're on the subject of, uh, of Chris Perillo, just before we leave, um, and it sort of incorporates into what I want to include in this episode about uh, web browsing, uh, we've been recently putting together a, a blog for our for this show, uh, and that's once again www.obsessedwithtech.net if you haven't checked it out. And one of the problems with putting together something like that is not really ever knowing how it's going to appear in different browsers. And just uh, as a coincidence, I, I Twittered uh, Chris uh, the other day, and he got back to me. Um, I actually Twittered him with his uh, compliments on his, on his work on, on Twit this week. If you go on to uh, browsershots.org, as uh, Chris Twittered, you'll actually be able to type in, type in the URL of any single uh, any web page you want and have it display it the way it would look in every single browser that's out there and I mean every single browser that I've that I've ever heard of and even multiple versions of the same browser it's, it's just incredible uh, what it does so uh, I thank you for that Chris for, for a while now I've been uh, using a, um, a startup page um, which is, allows me to configure the way all my pages start up and it's called pagestartup.com and what it does allows me to have all of my all the pages that I that I frequently use write visual on the first page along with a little search engine right there so it's a customized sort of startup page every time I launch my browser it's cross-platform and it allows me to sort of have everything I need right at my fingertips. I've been using that for a while. I haven't done the full, the full login and set up an account with them so I can transfer it around from computer to computer. I haven't gone that far with it, but uh, the reason why I bring it up is recently uh, I was on Molly's site, uh, demogirl.com, and she has a very good uh, screencast of of actually a new Firefox extension called Speed Dial. So if you install Speed Dial, it sort of takes 
everything that's good about uh, startup and sort of brings it to the next level. It allows you to visually set up all your stuff as well, but they're all customizable. You even have control, like hotkeys you can use, as well as mouse clicks to fully customize it. And uh, you can set up different tabs. And it almost gives you sort of like an iPhone or iPod Touch sort of integration where you can have multiple screens with different, uh, different bookmarks on them visually when they load up in tabs so that everything's right at your fingertips. So do go check out both of those. And as always, do go check out Molly. Um, those are my picks for the week. So I uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, once again, you can find us at uh, obsessedwithtech.com.net as our new blog. And as always, obsessedwithtech at gmail.com. You can get in touch with me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for bringing a friend. If you didn't, bring one next time. And get out and enjoy your tech. This has been another episode of Obsessed with Tech. Thanks for watching this Robin J production. Also, a huge kudo to all those who helped make this episode possible. So, we'll see you next time when you'll say that you are also obsessed with tech.